Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for September 3rd, 2019, your Tuesday. Please keep in mind that, <coughs> excuse me, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 3rd of September, it does not mean it has to resonate on that time, on that day. Whenever you watch this and it resonates for you, that is the message for you at that time yes um, so just just a quick reminder you may already hear it but they are in full swing across the street working on the building um, it's like it's y'all it's like six minutes to eight in the morning for me right now as I'm recording this and they are straight up in full swing like I really I wish I could show you <laughs> what they were doing but then that would mean that I would need to take traips my camera through my room and let me tell you it is not the tidiest <laughs> so I will not be sharing that but they are like they are not fucking around all right they are in full swing them trucks was rolling up at 6 a.m. sharp y'all okay it's like we are doing this and I love it that's great um, I want to say one more thing before we get started with the energies um, I just want to extend my extreme gratitude to all of you that have been so um, loyal um, but also compassionate and expressive of your own gratitude for the work that I do here on this channel I want to say that at this working doing these readings and working with this channel is really all I want to be doing with my life right now um, which I'm totally okay with um, but I, I really I'm so grateful for all of you um, I went through a period yesterday where I was kind of like, I, I almost felt like I didn't really deserve all of the accolades that you guys were, you know, giving me because I, it's not that I'm not, I mean, I mean, it's just, I, I, I'm not any different from anyone else. Um, and I guess it was just, just an extreme humbling time at the time of extreme humbleness um, because I didn't want to come across as like I'm better than anybody I don't believe I am better than anybody and I don't believe that what I'm doing here is not something that anyone else couldn't do if I said that correctly but um, at the same time you know I'm just really grateful for all of you and for all of for, and I'm also grateful for you know the clarity and the help this is providing to you guys that's really it's really what keeps me going so thank you guys so much I love you all so very much okay with that said let's get into the energies for today so um, I have a reshuffle energy here and actually I didn't even pull these as a free shuffle I was literally just you know doing the traditional parlor shuffle of the cards and some and a flyer popped out and if you guys are familiar with me if you've watched my channel for some time you've seen me do this where I do the parlor shuffle and as I'm splitting the deck something will come shooting out well that was this ace of cups here okay and with this um, this is definitely what I'm hearing for this ace of cups is that love is in the air and it's this it's this side of the of the card in which it's daylight okay where as opposed to nighttime right where you know there could be a new love but it may be a little bit of a secret it may not be fully fleshed out it may not be fully apparent well it's this side of the card all right so this is the daytime scene so this is sunlight this is bright this is fun now the ace of cups does talk about self-love right but it also is a card of extending your love towards someone else what i'm feeling with this card right here right now is that there is an awareness between two individuals now it could just be one okay one of you may be aware of it um, but I, I really kind of feel like for whomever I'm channeling for here for whomever this message is for both of you are very aware of the feelings that you have for each other and it's not even like I mean you might be keeping it under wraps but what I'm feeling here is that you're not even mad about it sad about it afraid of it you know you're kind of it makes you really happy and you're recognizing how happy it makes you for some of you you're starting to recognize what your true feelings are through this happiness that you're feeling with this connection okay now there is we have the two of wands and strength on on one side here right let's talk about this first the two of wands is talking about for some of you it's talking about travel 
for but either way it's talking about needing to make a decision i guess to pursue this situation further to take it deeper <laughs> i just wanted to say to drive it home okay others of you you could have an option i'm really feeling like this could be an option maybe between two people maybe between multiple people um, but you do, if that is you, then you are aware of one option being a best option for you. And it's not even like a situation where you're saying you're weighing out the pros and cons and, you know, choosing whomever is better on paper or something like that. You have a conscious awareness of what is more fulfilling for you already. There is a need to be strong, to believe in yourself because you do have strength here. Now, this strength could be needing to tame the beast and and not just like pounce <laughs> you know what i mean um or at least not pounce too forcefully for others of you there is a confidence booster that's needed you're needing to believe in yourself um and i really want to say for those of you who feel a lack of confidence like no this person couldn't p potentially couldn't couldn't like me or this situation couldn't really be what I feel like it is or it's too good to be true blah 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 no you need to you need to you need to start believing in yourself okay you need to start believing in the fact that you are attractive enough you are worthy enough you do have what it takes you do have something to offer you know that kind of energy all right look at let's look at the other side of this at the other side of this we have the seven of pentacles and the fool all right so there is definitely a, ne a leap of faith that needs to be taken. For some of you, with this Seven of Pentacles energy, I, I personally don't, I don't really like the way the Seven of Pentacles is depicted in this deck because it's just so gloomy and it doesn't always have to be a gloomy situation. Now, with that said, <laughs> this situation does seem like someone is sitting is like sitting on their hands saying, no, this can't possibly be true. What I'm getting with this Seven of Pentacles energy is this is something that you've manifested. This is something that you've called in. These are seeds that you have planted, okay? And now that your harvest is here, you're kind of like, no, I couldn't possibly, what? No, no, that's not really for me. But it is. Spirit is saying, the universe is saying, you have called this in. And now we're handing it to you and you're sitting there. On, it's, yeah, look, the, look, it just wanted to pop out. Look, it just wanted to pop out. The King of Pentacles, the Magician, the Ace of Pentacles, the World, the Two of Swords. Oh, and then Strength. It's this side of Strength where you're facing the devil and you're saying, oh, I don't know if I can do this. You're needing to believe you called this in. You have a new opportunity right in front of you, all right? You have manifested this. It's time for you to step through the portal. Now, this side of the world could be seen as someone is trying to rush it. I feel like someone is holding back because they're standing right in front of this portal. They're standing right in front of this, this bridge I'm hearing, okay? that's gonna take you over to the other side and you're just kind of standing there like sweating bullets like, oh my God, what's gonna happen if I step through this? Well, I, I just heard her happiness is gonna happen. Why? Because you've manifested this, you've done the work. Seven of Pentacles, it's time to harvest, to reap what you've sown. And in many cases, it, it, I mean, in this case, this is a good thing. No more indecisiveness. Two of so, two of wands. It's I'm sorry. Two of swords. It's time to make a decision. Two of wands. It's time to take the leap of faith. The fool. It's time to move forward with this. Your desires are real. Your desires are valid. No one is trying to stop you but yourself. That was a channeled message straight up right there. <laughs> okay. All right, kids. Well, that's cool. So let's get into this. The rest of this. Let's see. What happens? See what we get here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. This wanted to come out. Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, not Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands, in which the lightning has, strick, has struck, stricken, struck, whatever. Page of Pentacles. It's time to move forward, start something new, get a new commitment going, get a new, a new, you've got a new level. Okay, now, now, okay, I get it. I get it. For some of you, this is a situation in which, um, 
this is fairly new to you. You getting your, a desire manifesting like this is fairly new to you. Or maybe this kind of connection is fairly new to you. And what I'm feeling here is there is a lot of love, um, a lot of compassion, a lot of reciprocity. The feelings are in are quite mutual and so with this page of pentacles energy you're having to find your footing because this is a brand this is new this is very very new for you for others of you this is new for you but it's new in the sense that um it's been a while since you felt something like this ace of wands i mean this is this feels so strong so passionate and it is coming through as this side of the card with the lightning striking because it's such it's it's like I don't know I don't even know how to put this into words. It's like it's so strong. It's intense. It's real, you guys. And then you also have this Ace of Cups here. But now it's the now it's the um, the nighttime. All right, you just have the Four of Swords on the other side of the deck. Uh, th these are nighttime scenes. All right, so I feel like someone is. I don't know. I feel like someone might feel like they're in the dark. I also feel like you just, maybe you do, you need to take some time to think things through a little bit more. And I'm what, and with, and if that's, if that's something you're resonating with, then it's more about a plan of action rather than whether or not this is worth pursuing. Because I do feel, I do feel very strongly that whomever this is, for, look, yeah, look, there's a two of cups right there and it's in the daytime. Okay. Whatever, whomever this is for you, or whatever this is for you, this, in fact, is worth pursuing. And look at what's on the other side of the deck. The counterpart to that, the Queen of Pentacles. She's, she's, her back is turned, but don't, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't fret. This is not a situation where she's not interested um, or she's turned her back on you. She's just focused on her own. Okay. She's focused on her own life right now, her own manifestations, her whatever, her domain. The King of Pentacles came out. And he was, he was facing us, but when he's facing us, it's the nighttime scene. And that's the energy that, in which I'm getting someone needs just to think about this a little bit more. But it's about your plan of action, not whether this is worth pursuing. All right? So it is the masculine here who's having to really think about, well, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? Do I really want to move forward with this? Um, and, and, okay, I do want to move forward with this, but how do I do that? Like, let's be practical here, practical here about that. And the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen, oh, look, there's the Emperor. The Queen is just sitting there like, yeah, okay, I'm ready for this. The Emperor is the masculine here. Okay, how do I make this happen? Okay. Excellent. So let's see what we do. What do we do here? All right, here we go, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving this five shuffles, um, but I am seeing some colors. I'm seeing purple and blue. Those are the predominant colors. And then I'm also seeing green. Now, that's corresponding to the higher chakras, the higher wisdom. So you could say, uh, officially, the shade of purple that I'm seeing is the third eye, okay, because it's a deep purple. But it could also be, it also could symbolize wisdom, divine wisdom, spiritual wisdom, universal wisdom, whatnot, whatever. I'm seeing blue, that is the color of the throat chakra, that is communication, truth, honesty, integrity, acting with integrity, honoring your intuition, honoring your emotions, honoring your, your, your individuality, yes, but it's also about communication. Um, I'm getting a strong feeling that communication is needed here, and it's not in the sense that maybe you guys haven't been communicating, it's about, a, it's about just continuing the conversation, maintaining your relationship, maintaining an open 
policy of communication between the two of you, I really feel like whatever I'm channeling for right now is a very healthy relationship. Very, very healthy relationship. The two of you communicate well, you communicate honestly, you communicate fairly often, you enjoy communicating with each other. This is a very good thing. Very, very good thing. And then the, for the green that I'm seeing, that's obviously the heart chakra, okay? The heart chakra is very much engaged in this situation. All right, five shuffles here for you guys, and then we'll see what else we get for today, Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. One. Two. Three. For the collective. Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. Four. Change is coming. Change is in the air, is what I just heard. Five. Last shuffle. Here we go. Here we go, kids. All right. Best messages, please, Spirit. For our Tuesday, September 3rd. For the collective. Best messages, please. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are going to leave it there. There's a lot of lightning striking, you guys. We have the Knight of Wands now with the lightning strike. We also have the, pay, the, the, the Ace of Wands again, all right? Overall, on the other side is none other than that King of Pentacles, okay? All right. Ooh, okay, inspired action for sure. We have the Page of Swords. We have the High Priestess. The Page of Cups. Oh boy, the Five of Swords. Wow. Um, the Five of Cups and the Moon. Okay. All right. I see how this is working here. So let's talk about this first. Um, and it's interesting because... When I saw the Five of Cups here, I felt like someone was really stuck in some sort of remorseful energy, okay? Um, someone is... I, what I heard is someone is grieving too much. Someone is feeling like their past defines them in some way. Someone is feeling like they can't get out of the rut that they may be in, okay? When literally all you need to do is walk away. Eight of Cups, all right? And in this deck, the Eight of Cups on this side has the sun and the moon here on it. This is a balance. This is a balance between light and dark, uh, good and bad, positive, negative, masculine and feminine. Um, this is also what I'm hearing for, for this channeling is... This is a balance of perspective, okay? And what I'm feeling here is you have the perspective that you need. You've learned the lessons. You've gotten what you've needed out of this circumstance, out of this situation. You are uh, uh, able, okay, to walk away from the situation. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can drop everything at this very moment and just walk away. No. But what we're saying is here, you have... the. The cycle is complete, I guess. You, you, you can now wrap things up and, and make your moves to move on from whatever this circumstance is for you, okay? And yet your regret, guilt, shame, I don't know, your mournful energy is kind of hindering, here, you, hindering you here. You have a dream. And not only do you have a dream with this Page of Cups energy because this is the, the, the dreamer, you ha not only do you have the dream, you have the wisdom Okay, with that turtle that's there. But it's all, you have a vision of it too. That's kind of what I'm seeing with this page of cups facing off into the distance. You have a vision of it. And yet, you are sabotaging yourself. Five of swords. Why? Because of this. Because of the past. Because whatever has spilt, all right? Three of cups. Whatever has spilt from the past was toxic. You have these two cups behind you. 
these two cups represent whatever this relationship is that we're talking about here. It's a relationship or it's a new start. It's your new beginning. It's, 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 even if we're not talking about a relationship, whatever it is that's new for you that you feel desire, uh, guided to move towards, that is part of your vision here, it's standing right there for you. All you got to do is turn around and, and pick it up and get moving. And looky here, these same two cups and this five of cups energy are the two cups that this individual could be walking away or walking towards to complete their 10. Okay. Guided action needs to be taken here. And it seems like you have especially since we, we like what I was picking up on before was this king of pentacles was is the masculine who is I guess who needs to take some sort of action but what the action is is it just it needs you need to make it the action that you need to take is to make a decision as to whether you should uh, as to really go for this or not I mean you are the king of pentacles whether you have a shit ton of money or not money is not the issue, okay? What is the most important here for you in your life is for you to be solid and secure and stable and grounded within, in and of yourself. The money will always come later, all right? As long as you have this, 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 this foundation within yourself and that foundation is knowing who you are, knowing what it is you want out of life, knowing, or at least, and, and you don't even have to know this completely 100%, but this, but knowing enough of this for you to start to move on it, to embody it, to embrace it, to express it, that's what's needed. And that's what's represented here by this King of Pentacles. Sure, it could represent money, status, and all that stuff, but none of that is really all that necessary. It's all part of the abundant flow, okay? What you need to have is the solid stability within yourself. And I do feel like you have this here as the King of Pentacles. You also have some sort of inspired um, oh, what is, the, how do I want to say this? So it, you have inspiration towards some sort of action here. And yet I don't feel like the Knight of Wands is actually moving forward quite yet. This is like literally the time when the lightning is striking. The inspiration is coming. The inspiration is here. Ace of Wands with that lightning. Ooh. Why did I just toss that like that? Ace of Wands with the lightning here. Okay. You have, oops, the Page of Swords with the High Priestess. Now, some of you could be spying. The masculine could be watching very closely. Okay. That is indeed true. But what I'm getting with this also, especially with this Ace of Wands and this Page of Swords with the High Priestess, I'm getting that intuition. You, you are listening for guidance from the universe. Also from your intuition. You might be in a, in a period where you are communicating with yourself, with your higher self, with your intu intuition to figure out how to flesh this out, to figure things out, to figure out how to move forward. Some of you could be connecting the, the, this for this masculine, this high priestess could be this feminine energy that you're connecting with, um, who seems to be very wise, um, very intuitive, okay? She could be a reader. Um, and if that, and for some of you, you might be feeling like a, a sense of inadequacy here. But let me tell you, this high priestess does not see you as inadequate, especially if you are in, okay, well, it wants to come out this way. But especially if you are in this King of Pentacles energy, she recognizes this, whether you have a bunch of money or not, all right? Whether you have a bunch of material worldly possessions or not. To be quite honest with you, this high priestess doesn't care about your worldly possessions. She doesn't care about how much, how much money you have, how big of a house you have, how big of an apartment you have, how big of a car you have, how many cars you have, how, how much clothing, how many, how many items or articles of clothing you have, how much jewelry you have, none of that. How, how good your job is, 
how much fame or status you have. She really couldn't give two shits about any of that because she recognizes the spiritual aspect of life, okay? And she recognizes that spirit is the source of everything. So she would rather see that you are wealthy and abundant of spirit, which I do see here in this King of Pentacles. You are embodying that. And you may not recognize it in yourself, but she sure sees it quite clearly. Quite clearly. And in some cases, that's exactly what she's, this high priestess has been waiting for. Now, this is an individual who is femininely dominant, whether that be, well, that doesn't mean gender. It means energetically, all right? And she, so this could be a man, this could be a woman, all right? But, the, but this energy, speaking to this energy, um, this consciousness, there we go. This consciousness here is very much in tune with the spiritual aspect of things and doesn't care so much about the physical, but she does it's not that she doesn't care so much about the physical because it's quote, not important. She just recognizes that spirit will provide all of the things in the spiritual, in the, in the physical that anyone could ever want. So it's more important to be spiritually abundant rather than it's more important or it's more beneficial, however you want to say it, spiritually abundant rather than physically, just physically abundant. Because with that spiritual abundance, then all other abundance will come to fruition. Yes, will manifest. Okay. But you, masculine, whomever you are, you are sabotaging yourself by not letting yourself be free and walk forward towards what it is you truly desire. Not allowing yourself to really leave this past circumstance behind. I mean, look at all these eight cups. They're all worn out and cracked and just not too pretty anymore. And with that sun and that moon there, I really feel like you have learned everything you, it is that you need to learn. Your prerequisites have been completed, in many cases, with flying colors. You've got to believe in yourself more, okay? You've got to believe in yourself more. Okay, so let's get into the clarifiers now. We're going to start. Oh, sorry, guys. I, I don't mind me. Okay. We're going to start with this five of swords, five of cups, eight of cups, page of cups energy. Why are you sabotaging yourself and how can we, how can you alleviate this? One more shuffle here. And you know, that's two fives right there. Five of cups, five of swords. All right, so that is change. So I do feel like, um, okay, well, wait. All right, I do feel like you guys are going through a transition with this five, these two fives here. And you may not necessarily be completely sabotaging yourself. It may just be uh, residual energies uh, from the circumstance that you're in. That, it, that, that may be still affecting you. But you have a dream, you have a vision, page of cups, it's time to start moving, all right? Let's get hmm. Whoa, wow, <laughs> oh boy, all right. Overall energy is the chariot. It's time to just start moving, to get moving. Nine of pentacles. I mean, strong, balanced, abundant, independent. I feel like you have the means to do whatever it is you need to do, okay? This cycle here has whatever it is you're needing to walk away from has been almost like a, 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 maybe we'll say a last step towards your independence and your autonomy, all right? And it seems that you have achieved that. I, I mean, that's what we were saying here. I mean, you're ready to move forward, okay? You have the fool, again, because the fool came out in the pre-shuffle, okay, with the 10 of swords in it's time to move forward. 
for those of you whomever is still in some sort of fearful energy about this, you got to just, I mean, the Ten of Swords is complete. It's almost as if the Ten of Swords, you've reached the Ten of Swords, you've reached the completion of the situation, and yet you're still just not quite letting yourself move forward. Take this leap of faith. What else do we have here? We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. I'm getting two things with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here. One is stronger than the other. One I'm getting is that um, maybe someone doesn't... Okay, no. What I'm really getting here is that you don't really... There is no more work that needs to be done to reach this. Okay, so part of what's holding you back part of this self-sabotaging energy is you thinking like there's still more work for you to do, but there isn't. Why? Because you've, pro you've progressed from the eight to the nine. You've done the work already. Your disbelief is what's holding you back. You feel like, no, this can't co possibly be over. There, there has to be more work for me to do. No, there really isn't. It's time for you to take this leap now. Come on, just do it. Go ahead. Jump on out there. <laughs> You're ready for it. All right. Get, let's get some clarity here on, I mean, especially with this overall energy of the chariot here. I mean, come on. Okay. Um, I wanna get some clarity now on this high priestess energy who also, I'm hearing, who also is the counterpart, is the queen of pentacles to this king, okay? And actually for that, I'm going to use the golden universal tarot because I actually want to see if there's potentially any mirroring here. But we're going to get some clarity on the energetic state of this high priestess energy. Now, this could be your intuition, yes, but also I feel like this is the counterpart. One more shuffle. And we'll see what comes out here. I keep wanting to say for this Queen of Pentacles. All right. Well, Ten of Pentacles is underneath the deck so far. Um... Okay, so she's in it for the long haul. Absolutely. This feminine energy is definitely in it for the long haul. There's also a comple completion. I'm feeling with this Ten of Pentacles, I'm feeling that there's like a, a, a wish come true type of energy here. Like you two really could be everything you have always wanted in partners. Let's see what else we get for this High Priestess energy. Slash Queen of Pentacles. Just some clarity. Page of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. <laughs> there it is. There it is. The mirroring. The chariot. Ooh, okay. With the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. Wow. I was almost expecting the Queen of Pentacles to show herself, but it's the Queen of Wands. You have the Hanged Man, the Chariot, the Six of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, but also the Six of Wands. So there it is. There's your mirroring right there. The Chariot. Both of you are in align with, align with this, and I really do feel like both of you want this. Both of you want this. But you see, here's the thing. Both of you are very much in alignment with each other because both of you have your balance of emotions in check, your balance of positive with negative, masculine with feminine for sure, all right? And so you're aligning with each other on these grounds, okay? The, the spirit has absolutely played matchmaker here, for sure. Um, Page of Pentacles, what I'm getting with this is the feminine, this feminine counterpart, this Queen of Wands even, really just wants 
someone to be honest with her and just wants a commitment. And it's not like she's going to uh, uh, accept a commitment from any old body, but she just, I, I, what I'm feeling is like she just wants someone to choose to take that next step to really start building. She's asking for the commitment here. Six of Cups, Six of Wands, The Hanged Man. Your change in perspective, your enlightenment has brought this upon you, for both of you. And this is how you're aligning with each other, all right? It has aligned you with a soulmate. Um, What I'm also getting with the Six of Cups, it's aligning you with that which you truly desire family-wise, okay? A deep bond, a strong connection with someone that you truly resonate with. Six of Wands is victory. I mean, you are this feminine's victory. She is your victory. You find victory in each other. Nine of Wands, though, there's a bit of guardedness. Don't give up now. Do not give up now. And for the, 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 the feminine counterpart here, you are the Queen of Wands. You absolutely are magnetic. Magnetic as fuck. Maybe even magical. Spiritual, even. Okay? I'm hearing divine counterparts, for sure. Even though we don't have cards that officially say that, as in like the high priestess and the hierophant or the emperor and the empress or even the king and queen of wands, maybe even the king and queen of pentacles, but that energy is definitely here. And you're definitely mirroring each other with this chariot energy, okay? Okay. Lenormand deck? Why not? Let's just see what Lenormand has to say about, about this connection. About this connection. And then where are we getting our Oracle guidance from? Ooh, the whispers of love. Okay. One more shuffle here. All right. So what does Lenormand have to say about this connection? Mm -hmm. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, the clouds are parting, y'all. Where you were once in a storm, now you has, it has given way to light, to sunshine, to happy days. It doesn't mean everything's gonna be happy every day. But now that you two have found each other, things are much brighter than they used to be. Ah, mice. Mm-hmm. That's your fear. That's your anxiety. This is allowing maybe even other people's opinions to come in the way, to get in between your happiness. Do not let this be destroyed. Do not let your ego, the egos of others, um, dark energies, negative entities that wish to just tear you down, do not let them destroy this for you. Sabotage it even. Ooh, what's that? 26, the book. Oh, with 18, the puppy. Oh, 26. The book of knowledge, the book of secrets. What I house is educational and private. I may be your project or your research and sometimes your studies and journals. Watch out for the cards around me because the sun, uh, I'm sorry, because with the sun, you'll see right through me. I am hidden, I am unknown, but occasional knowledge I must, I might learn. Uh, the book draws attention to the power of knowledge and the importance of possessing it. This card may suggest there is something somebody needs to know. However, this will only become apparent with the presence of the cards around it. 
The book is a vehicle for the very imagination itself. The Book of the Reverie promises tales of great mystery within its pages. It has a mechanical dial on its front showing the intricacies of learning. The book opens to the right of the card which opens to the right of the card which indicates in readings the direction of the learning. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay, as an example, if the dog, card number 18, were to the right of the book, it would learn it would be learning something about a close friend. The next card to the right may indicate what was going to be learned. Interesting. Okay, so then I want to get one more card here to to bring some clarity to the book. Please. Just one more card to bring clarity to the book. Because I do see the progression here. For the book, please. Ha <laughs> ha! The anchor. Wow, okay, okay. And the dog is still at the bottom of the deck. So what you could be learning about this close friend, this dear friend, is that they may, in fact, want to settle down with you. The anchor. Settling down, commitment, honoring those commitments even. And what I'm seeing in a progression here, from the clouds parting to the mice, this is also you coming out of a situation in which, you know, there were nuisances, rodents, um, backstabbers, uh, people that were being dishonest with you, people that were trying to cut you down, people that were trying to manipulate you, take advantage of you, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. You're coming out of that and you're learning that there's someone in your life or maybe you need to learn. Maybe you guys need to have this conversation, but I do feel like you're coming, you're, someone is in your life here that you're learning really could be a life partner, really could be very loyal, wanting to be loyal to you. I'm hearing wanting to take this friendship to the next level of commitment because that is what they desire and that is the, and they see that potential in you. And that is in fact vice versa. <laughs> right? Because you may see that potential in someone else and that's what you desire. Talk about this. Have this conversation with someone, okay? And don't be afraid to step up. Don't be afraid, don't be shy, all right? Because if it's something that you truly want, then just go for it. What's the worst that could happen? Literally, what's the worst that, th that could happen? They say no, oh well, move on to the next. But you'll never know unless you try, okay? So give yourself that love and care and support and compassion and give yourself the opportunity to go after what it is you truly desire. Yes? All right. So let's get some oracle guidance to close out your reading here from The Whispers of Love. All right, here we go. Best messages, please, Spirit, to close out this reading. Card number 37. Okay. Act as if your partner is here. Oh, wow. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you, so you will always consider them. And card number 20. I love you. I love you. Some words, these words need to be said. It's true. They do love you. They do care about you. They, someone, and, and, and I want to say they do want a commitment. Because what this feels like is someone is, has matured to a place where it's like, I don't, I, I'm not trying to be a fuck boy or a fuck girl anymore, if that was your thing. Or I'm not trying to be out in the dating scene, just casually dating, like, I want something real. I want something I can rely on. I want something I can fall back on. I want something that 
I know when I, when I, when I have finished my day or as I'm going through my life, blah, blah, what, what, not whatever, so-and-so will be there to share my downtime with me or something like that, you know? And this doesn't, this doesn't feel like wanting to nail or, or, or um, um, uh, tie somebody down just because they can, say, they can say, oh, I've got this person. It's like, no, they just want to be, or you just want to be solid, com like stable and whatnot, and just have that best friend by you to share life with, you know? Do it with someone that you feel a strong connection with. Let's get a little bit more here. I want to take that one. Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said, but you need to listen with a loving heart. Okay? I'm, what I'm getting with that is criticism. Overly critical. That could be part of this self-sabotaging energy that you're dealing with. It's like you're hearing what's going on, but you're, you're perceiving what's happening between the two of you. Okay? But you're perceiving it with your mind. What you need to do is perceive it with your heart and, allow, and follow through from there is what I'm, see, what I'm hearing, okay? Whoa. All right, that's it? That's, wow, that's a lot. Okay, we're going we're gonna to take that, though. Card number 45 is at the bottom of the deck. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. All right, so follow through with your feelings there, peeps. You know what I'm saying? You've got rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fund need, fundamental need to take breaks. You have receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way to show love. Oh, yes. I'm going to do that lot at the bottom, at the end. You have card number two, like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. And this is, this is the harmonic vibration that I'm feeling between these two individuals. Like attracts like. Universe has absolutely played matchmaker here. And then you have, finally, if you needed any more confirmation... You have card number 30, true love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. So just do it. Just follow through with it. Go on with your bad self. <laughs> All right. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.